Hi, this is Alan from ADX Soft. Um, I've been using Freeplane for quite a while now. Previously, I did use a lot of other mind mapping tools, and uh, this is now my favourite. Um, I had a load of mind maps that uh, I previously developed that I wanted to keep, and uh, the tools that I was using um, were able to export those mind maps into the OPML which is a sort of open format for transferring mind maps basically OPML has uh, keeps what's called outline tags for each node that's in a map and within an outline tag it's got the title of the node and uh, also if there's a note attached to the node that's also kept within the OPL format Previously I did have a standalone script I would built in Python um, which I would used but I thought it would be nice to have a um, script within Freeplane that uh, I could easily uh, execute at any time to import OPML. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you is, uh, is how this works. Um, I've developed this script uh, import OPML to selected node uh, and basically uh, this is what the script looks like um, you don't need to worry yourself too much about that but it's uh, it is my first groovy script and it seems to work okay so um, I'll show you how it works so here I have some test data um, I have a number of uh, OPML files that uh, I can play around with um, some of them have notes and one or two of them have a couple of notes in UTF-8 format and uh, you know with bold text and tables and things. So basically uh, in Freeplane I'm going to run through how this is set up. So the script you can find if you go to this address here um, and you can download it from there it's just uh, a zip file you can download it as a zip, unzip it and uh, there's one script that sits inside of it and that is this script here the one that I I just showed you oops sorry not that one this one so this script that's what you'll download once you've downloaded it then you basically the installation process the first thing you need to check is your free plane settings before you install this in the free plane preferences over in plugins there's a whole bunch of things to do with scripting what you need to do is turn on these permissions read file write file and permit to execute other applications now this one I think is default already um, so you need to change those, save it, um, I've already done that but when you do save it make sure that you stop and start um, free plane again. The settings don't take effect until you exit free plane and restart it. So that's uh, the settings. Um, the next thing uh, we're going to look at is installing this as a global script so um, basically what I mean by that is you can run scripts from your tools menu you can see I've already installed it here um, and you can also I'll talk about later you can execute a, uh, a script that is actually resides within a node but generally we'll be using this uh, what I call a global script so the script um, the first thing you do is get it from the uh, from the website um, second step extract it third step is you go to the free plane user directory and that is in the tools menu you open the user directory and you go to scripts that's where you have to put the file. So it's called import opml to selected node.groovy. Once that's in there, then you have to, uh, we've done those steps, 
um, copy the script into the scripts library which we've done and you restart free plane again again for the uh, script to take effect I have found that um, even if you play around with a script and change it you do always need to exit free plane and restart it um, so that's installing as a global script <clears throat> you can also install it as a node script but I'll, I will uh, talk about that a little bit later so let's run the script um, so the basic operation uh, we'll just look at that the basic operation is to create a new node uh, sorry let me just turn that back on create a new node or you can use an existing node that's another option but basically you create a new node so let's just create one here new node and now that node is selected you can see that uh, it's blue in my case which so selected and you go to the tool script and go to scripts and run import opml to selected node another way to do that is you can right click and go to the scripts menu here and run the script as well so there's two ways to do it when you run it it'll prompt you for an opml file and i've got one sitting here in my test data uh, i'll import um, this is one I exported from the free plane itself so it's a uh, it's a fairly basic one now you see I'll, I'll just go back to where I was there's a new node and now this uh, OPML has been imported here you see it a lot better if I zoom out you can see all of this here was imported from uh, the free plane OPML file um, let's do another node um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll do another one uh, so we'll import OPML again and this time we'll make a different choose a different file uh, this is um, one I did before uh, and that is now imported again uh, this time I have put in uh, one of the free plane um, team uh, Volker suggested a way I could import uh, UTF-8 so you'll see in these ones here there's actually uh, it's got special characters like the German umlaut there which is um, displayed correctly uh, so that whole structure has been loaded from that OPML file um, We'll have a quick look at that file uh, so you can actually see what it looks like uh, from sample. Here we go. So here's the OPML file. Um, it's got a title. It's got uh, each node is an outline. So Animal Kingdom, you can see, corresponds to Animal Kingdom here and within that is mammals you can see there's mammals there and so on and so on um, some of the uh, outline tags have the note attribute and that's where the note data lives so that's what an OPML file looks like 